Johnny Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to mess around with this old scooter. Just a little bit. We're going to we're going to make sure it's not locked up and you know maybe check for spark. I may just dribble some gas in it and see if it'll fire over. We're going to use this thing because it does not have the recoil starter. I do have one, I believe, out back in the shed. But we're going to see if this thing runs. And if it runs, then we'll go, we'll move forward with it. If it does not, I'll build, I'll cut it up and build something out of it. So, anyway, let's get started on this. Okay, guys, so if I'm coming out of one side of your your earbuds, it's because I'm on the left side of the the uh, camera. Um, I should go get a mic, but I'm not going to be out here that long. I think I checked this. I don't believe it's locked up, and it's not. Now, I don't know what this shoestring's in here for. Somebody's... <laughs> attempt at trying to crank it over which as you can see would not work because even if it did start it would uh, go flying around all over the place so this is one of the starting dogs okay so I'm gonna set this over here to lose it's supposed to be a 49 cc it looks a little smaller i know they came in a couple different sizes a 49 and then i think there was one a, a little bit smaller um my daughter uh, let me get a screwdriver i gotta check something uh oh there's some mud in that. Ah, if it starts, it should blow it out. Primer bulb's in good shape. Choke does not want to work. There it goes. Uh, no fuel lines, no fuel tank. But, uh... My daughter had one of these, or one of them little uh, pocket rockets. This thing was was radical. Uh, I'll throw a couple pictures in right now if I can find them. Yeah, I, I got that thing. It was missing the fairing. It was missing a bunch of plastic. and uh, But it ran. I got it running. Now that one had electronics in it. So it had like a little alternator that bolted on here. So it would alternate to charge the battery and it was also a starter. So uh, yeah, that thing would run pretty good. I had it I had it hopped up quite a bit. That was before I was YouTubing. And uh, we ended up putting wheelie bars on it. I had it running on alcohol. 
yes alcohol and that thing would run me almost 70 miles an hour on a little engine just like this one um, but you know we got it all fixed up I custom painted it for her and you know stuff like that ended up she wanted a um, she wanted a three-wheeler I got her a three-wheeler, but I said, now, you got to take your pick. Which one do you want? Because you can't have both. She picked a three-wheeler. So, ended up doing some dealing on some, you know, some compound bows and some money for the bike. But, anyway, um, yeah, it's not locked. I, I thought I'd check this before, see if it was locked up, but. That's not saying it's not going to knock and, you know, smoke really bad or just not have any power. Um, this thing on the front here, that is an add-on. That's an aftermarket. Um, so, let me see. There is a plug in it. I think... Um... Oh yeah, and hers also had the pull start too. So hers stuck kind of out here like this, you know. Because you had your starter alternator and then you had the pull rope which bolts on here. Um, so I don't see why we can't try to just squirt a little gas in that carburetor and just give it a shot and see if it'll start. That's what I think we should do. And let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to squirt. Uh, my other hose finally just got old. Wouldn't stay on. Now this one will not stay on. So you know what? Let me get a let me get a socket and ratchet. We're going to pull this plug out. And we'll dribble some fuel down in there. And we'll hit it and see if it starts. If it does, we may put a fuel line on this thing. And see how long it'll run. See, there's two spots here. One's a return line. One's a return line, and one's the 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 uh, inlet side. You know, so yeah. See, that choke's not even opening all the way up. That would have been an issue. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and choke it for now. Let me get a socket and ratchet. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this plug out of here. Probably should check it for spark, but... Uh, gap's a little wide. This thing may run. I mean, it doesn't look bad. Sorry, again, for the lighting, because... 93 out today all right so let's dribble some of this in here and the kill switch is just a momentary switch just a push button all right that's two stroke this thing might fire right up who knows right it's got compression and spark that fuel should ignite it should do something all right I got my drill here Let's see what happens uh oh I need to get a different socket at 12 point I thought it was a six point I need to get a six point socket and get on there and then we'll try it all right got me a that nuts about to round off I didn't help it any that is my drill there Come on. 
Yeah, that's my drill. <clears throat> Doing that. Let me try my cordless drill. I don't know if it'll have enough power to do that, but I think it fired. I can't tell because of the damn this drill. She had this drill when we first got together. Just one of those. Alright, let's try this one then. All right, let's pull that plug again. Score a little more f fuel down in there. I think it fired. Yeah, let's try this again. Uh oh. Well, it did start, but this thing is coming off, so. Yeah, it does run. <laughs> it only ran for a second. When it's firing, it's kicking. It's going faster than this can go, and it's loosening that nut. Yeah, see? All right, so we know it runs. If I'm not mistaken, this thing screws on, too, so... I don't know. I'm not sure which one of these is. <laughs> All right. It does run. Yeah, this does this does screw on, but it's it's cracked. <laughs> I think it just happened too. Okay. Well, like I said, it's gonna be a short video, but Well, no, I guess this one don't. Alright, it's not a big deal. But we know it runs, that's the main thing. Like I said, I think I got a 49cc around back. Yeah, see, it's kicking that out pretty quick. I'm not sure where that bolt came from. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I wanted to take off, didn't it? Okay, well, there that is. I'm just going to stick this on here. There's a washer went somewhere, but I'm not worried about that. I'm going to be putting a new washer on it anyway. All right, guys, there you go. It does run. I'll see. I'll have to see what, uh, see if I can get that motor around back. I think it's locked up, but I'm pretty sure this should all be the same. It's on a, it's on an auger um, for like drilling holes in ice or post holes usually down here is what it was used for. Don't have the auger, but uh, so yeah, that's, that's probably going to be it for this one. We know it runs. It sounds good. Um, it started to take off, so I'm not sure, you know, if that's a good sign for the clutch. Hopefully it is, but it could still slip once you get weight on it, you know, so. 
there's a wire here unplugged. Might be for the kill, but I'm just going to leave it unplugged now for right now because I know it runs with that like that. Yeah, we'll later on we'll get uh, we'll get a uh, a fuel a fuel tank. I think I got an old weed eater that I can use a fuel tank off of, and uh, I'm not sure where the fuel tank went on this particular on this particular one. So, all right, guys, there you go. We know it runs. I know it's been sitting a long time. I'm not exactly sure how long, but it has been sitting a while. So there you go. Here's another one. It runs. Sounds good for what little bit it did run. It wanted to take off, so that's a good sign. So I'll have to dig my parts out. Yeah, in fact, the one that was on my daughter's, it didn't have a nut on here. It just had this thing, which I think this cracked when it came off. Uh, yeah, this just screwed onto it. It didn't even have a nut there, so that could be. See, that's all buggered out. I'll bet you that's what's happened. Somebody just drilled it out, and I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great weekend. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Hope you're enjoying my videos. See you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.